Good morning, Fraser. So, again, second day in a row with muted audio. Well, right now I'm just lamenting over the fact that I spent two hours on the phone trying to find things out, getting frustrated. It's all good now. Oh, got another phone call. Craig phoned. Things have changed at the church. Things are kind of going crazy right now. Apparently, uh, all of the uh, floor guys are there who are not supposed to be there. And, uh, yeah, wow, there's roofing stuff going on. And so we're going to have to go and, you know, the roof, uh, yeah, help. All right, so I am here. I'm seeing the roofing guys. I'm just giving, or the, sorry, the roofing guys, the flooring guys. I want to give this a shot because, you know, I've already done this uh, for two rows. just wanted to show you my prowess with uh, removing the uh, removing the floor tiles. See? Just watch this. Watch this move. This is just professional, professional moves. Watch me. You can't see me well here yet, but boom, boom. Just, just like, just tossing that stuff up. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera. You're going to see me a little bit better now. Watch this. Just boom. Boom, boom, I am just rocking that thing like a champ, like a champ. I just ripped through that thing like a weed whacker through, you know, weeds. I'm asking him how, you know, how to do, how to do. Yeah, you did great. No, you're great. So you, you'd hire me? I'd be, you know, you could, I would work here? Gee, yeah, 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 sure, why not? See, he's only worked for the company for like a day. It's the first time that kid used that too. All right, we are out here and Jill is here. Yes, he is going to be part of the brains. Uh, yeah, so we got Stewie here, we got Jill there, his son Lucien, and uh, this is uh, Brooks right here, saying hi to you. Brooks is new to the church, he wants to be here and help. So, Jill is uh, building his castle, I don't know what you want to call it, but it's his scaffolding and stuff, and uh, yeah, he's building this thing like a champ. He is just rocking this thing. So at any rate, he's uh, he keeps rocking this thing up there, and I think, okay, that's that's good, he's putting one section up there, and... He's going to put another section up. Well, he puts another section up, but he puts this big plank thing in between the two. And, oh, Allie came by to say hi. Hey, honey, love you. Okay, one more thing. Smooch, 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 smooch. <laughs> she loves it when I do that. She says no, but she does. So then they bring the man lift up there because they need an extra length, right? So they're using the man lift to uh, support the planks. It's going well. It's going really, really well. Uh, the guys are doing a great job. Stu and Jill are up on the uh, the roof there. It's going fantastic. I tried for a very short period of time. Did not work great. Uh, it was dumb for me to try and get up there because there's no cage. There's no protection. The, the dizziness and all that sort of stuff. It just wasn't pleasant. But the guys are finishing up. The last little bit there. That's going to be it. We are done for the day. It's a great job. They did a fantastic job. They worked their butts off up there. I basically passed a bunch of stuff up, but that's all I did, man. Grunt work. Wow. I hope you're having a good day today, Frace. I really do. I, uh, yeah. I hope that you're able to, that you're feeling better. I hope you're up getting around. Yeah. Uh, I had busy day today. Got a, I, I got up this morning and I was doing some paperwork, fooling around, trying to chase my tail, trying to get some information that I needed uh, and such. About two hours worth of stressful talking and calling different places. Finally got the right information and it was good. Then I was going to sit down and do some editing. Probably a good thing I didn't. Uh, but I got a phone call from Craig. I'll tell you why. It's a good thing that I didn't earlier. Uh, I got a phone call from Craig, and uh, he says, okay, things for the roof on the church. Things have kind of changed and exploded, and there's stuff we got to do right now. The guys are coming at 1 o'clock. I'm like, okay, all right, fair enough. So I'll head out quick. And, and so I get there, and all, all of the roofers are there. They're all there ripping things up. They're not supposed to be here until next week. Okay, so now i got to help Craig get as much stuff as we, out, out of the uh, areas we can. We were going to be cleaning up that stuff today, uh, which we did anyway, <laughs> just in a little more hurried. Because um, Did I say roofers? I meant flooring guys. The flooring guys were all there today. Uh, anyway, I don't know what I said at this point. I have no idea. 
uh, Brooks came by today. He's uh, he's new to the church and he wanted to be involved and you know help out and stuff like that, which is awesome. Uh, so uh, so yeah, he was helping us clean stuff out. And, you know, I was watching them and, and that floor was coming up way easier than what, what I thought it would ever come up. Uh, they they asked us, the Wednesday guys, the maintenance crew, if we thought we could do that, and I thought no, it's it's too big, it's too much. Like I figured that stuff was going to be glued down with like epoxy super glue never coming out well i watched the kid in there he's going kruh, kruh, kruh. so i was like oh i gotta try that so i tried it and sure enough it was coming up ripping up easy and then i wanted to show you so i you know put the camera on and i did a couple i did one row at that point right and i didn't want to take the kid's job way out of him to get you know he gets paid by the hour you know so i wanted to make his money but he didn't mind he was good with it yeah and then the uh, then jill showed up uh, and Doug, the two contractors, Jill still is actively working, uh, Doug's retired, but still on the ball and knows what's going on and, uh, very good at what he does, and, uh, they kind of ran the show for today, because we had to, as I tried to show you and tried to tell you on the video, which had no sound, which I know now, um, we had to re-put up all the strapping again because there was no strapping. Uh, the roof was just done a little bit differently than what they anticipated, and then we had to, because they had to rip off. We had to rip off, they, somebody ripped off the OSB, and we had to peel all the staples out of the OSB and pass the, the OSB back up and get them to put the OSB down. It was Stu and, uh, and Jill up there doing the, uh, doing the uh, OSB stuff today. Uh, yeah, and he, and Jill built the scaffolding, his own scaffolding, and uh, yeah, I, I made a comment on there, and I, I said to Jill, I said, if you think, no, I, did, I said to you, not that you heard it, because it, there was no sound, but I said, uh, you know, if Jill thinks, I've helped Jill build this, so if Jill thinks I'm going up there, he's crazy. Sure enough, I, wanted to have, I didn't have to go up. I offered to go up because somebody needed to go up. Stu was already going up, but he needed a second. And I was up there for like, yeah, it was dumb. It was dumb for me to go up. I should not have gone up um, because there was no rail. I could have put a safety harness on of some sort, but I didn't. Yeah, it was just, uh, it was just dumb with the vertigo thing and all that wonderful stuff. I lasted about 15 minutes. And then uh, I, I had to go down. I couldn't do it anymore. And I, I got to the end of the the one area where basically you got to walk out a plank about four feet to get to the ladder. But there's no, there's nothing there beside you. And it took me about two minutes to get to the ladder. Just holding my breath and saying, you know what? No, there's no vertigo. There's no vertigo. No vertigo. It was it was very stressful. Uh, I got to the ladder, I got down, and once I got down, you know, my my adrenaline and my breathing was, like, racked for, like, an hour. It, it took about an hour for me to calm my respiratory down, so. So, yeah, it was, uh, but it was a long day. It was a good day. Those guys are awesome. Stu is a workhorse, man. Stu is just a workhorse. Jill is awesome, a workhorse. Again, he's a contractor. He's up there doing all the work. Um... Doug's the brains on the on the ground, you know, making the cuts and all that sort of stuff. And Jill's the brains up there, putting it all together. And and uh, Craig and I are pretty much just the uh, just the eye candy, really. <laughs> you know, we're just the laborers. We just do what they want us to do, kind of thing, and help out where we can, and lift things. You know, that's about all we do. So, uh, man. So yeah, then I, I get home. Exhausted. It was about six o'clock, six thirty by the time I got home, because um, we had to get that side done today and, and wrapped right. So, so I get home, I eat because I'm starving. I go have a shower. I'm downloading the video. I go in and have a shower. I come back out and I start doing stuff on the video editing and stuff like that. And then I I, I actually did a chat. I did my chat that I'm doing now, but I did it already once. And I went to put it on there, and I noticed that sound wasn't working. 
So, I find out that there's a mute button you can hit on these cameras, so I muted it. So then I go back and I find, well, actually then I do some investigation because one other one is not having any sound either. And then I find out if you, if you mute it and turn it off, when you turn it back on again, it doesn't reset, it stays on mute. So I have two days of muted video. Two days of muted video for you. So I apologize for that. They're probably going to be short videos, but I will, I will do a voiceover and see what I can't do about, you know, figuring out all what was going on. Um, I'm glad it wasn't during a fishing video, but I do apologize. I will do my best to voice over. I, there's no way I can be as funny as I am naturally. I can't script this stuff. You know? <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, bud. Yeah. But nonetheless, that was the day. So, it's all good. Our light and momentary afflictions. Right? That was yesterday's reading. But I'm going to have to read again for you because... All of yesterday was muted, so, yeah. So anyway, today we are reading in 2 Corinthians 5. For we know that if the earthly tent we live in is destroyed, we have a building from God, an eternal house in heaven, not built by human hands. Meanwhile, we groan, longing to be clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling, because when we are clothed, we will not be found naked. For while we are in this tent, we groan and are burdened, because we do not wish to be unclothed, but clothed instead with our heavenly dwelling. He's talking about our bodies, right? Right now we're, we're you know, stuck in these clay bodies kind of thing, these vessels. But when we die, that's, you know, we're living in our spirit. Now, the one who has fashioned us for this very purpose is God, who has given us the spirit as a deposit, a guarantee of what is to come. Therefore, we are always confident and know that as long as we are at home in the body, we are away from the Lord. For we live by faith, not by sight. We are confident, I say, and would prefer to be away from the body and at home with the Lord. So we make it our goal to please him, whether we are at home, in the body, or away from it. For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, so that each of us may receive what is due us for the things done while in the body good or bad. So again, as I've said before many times, you cannot get into heaven by works. It does not matter how many good things you do. It doesn't matter how many orphans you feed. It doesn't matter how many little old ladies you help across the street. There's nothing you can do to earn your way into heaven. The only way into heaven is by faith in Christ, in the blood that he shed on a cross, died. Three days later, he rose again. If we have faith and turn to Jesus, that's how we get in to heaven. That's attaining eternal life. So you cannot get to heaven by your works. But once you receive salvation through Christ, there should be a result of good works after that. Not to get there, but because we're already there. The Bible says we're already seated in heavenly places if you believe in Christ. So because I already have a seat in heaven, I should be doing good works. I shouldn't be doing good works in front of you know everybody here to get accolades and congratulations and hey, you're a good guy. You're supposed to do your good works in secret so that nobody knows other than God. Because if you do it in front of men to get glory for yourself, you've already received your reward. The Bible also talks about, you know, there's only one foundation, right? You can only build on the one foundation that's already been laid, and that's Jesus Christ. Once that foundation is laid, once salvation, that's salvation, boom, Jesus Christ. Then you do your good works, you live your life for Christ, what have you. If you live your life after you've attained salvation through Christ, to build up your own glory, your own wealth, your own, uh, you know, fame, whatever it happens to be, but don't build it for Christ, or don't live it for Christ, 
then everything that you've done when you get to heaven says it'll be tested by fire. <laughs> and if it burns up and disappears, fair enough, it's gone. You'll still attain salvation because salvation is not by works, it's by faith in Christ. But every one of us will stand before the judgment seat of Christ. And we'll receive what's due. Right? Again, not to get into, not to attain salvation, but because we've already attained salvation. So. Love you, buddy. God loves you very much. I miss you. I look forward to seeing you soon. And I will post more tomorrow. Hopefully with audio. <laughs>